ovulation time guys this video i will try to be as quick as i can to talk about how easy it is guys to miss your ovulation um, today i'm on cycle the 17th and uh, by the look of it i am ovulating either today or tomorrow and i'm so happy and so so relief because last month i uh, i didn't understand what was going on because i was taking uh, black cohosh i was taking a high dose of black cohosh and i missed my ovulation and let me tell you guys it is really really easy to miss your ovulation and when you are trying to conceive it is the only thing you need to know when it's happening it's your ovulation without an ovulation you cannot conceive and if you miss your ovulation you know you may not conceive except if you had intercourse a couple of days prior to your ovulation or maybe a day after your ovulation maybe but when you know when you ovulate it's the best for you you can plan on when the baby dance so uh, I try to do to use a few methods to catch my ovulation I don't just rely on uh, OPKs I uh, do my temp Every morning before I get up, I take my temperature and I record it on uh, Fertility Friend. And I also check on my uh, cervical mucus. It is uh, the greatest indication, indicator, I mean, on when you are ovulating. And I also do my OPKs. I do those three. And I'm telling you guys, it's hard for me to miss my ovulation. After what happened last, last month, never happened to me before so let me tell you what is happening and i think it probably has happened to many 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 women you test you test you test again and you test and you know the cycle is almost finished and you didn't know when you ovulate you think maybe you didn't ovulate but you are wondering if you can ovulate without having a surge and the answer is no you cannot ovulate without the surge you have to have a positive on your ovulation test sometimes you may not get on uh, positive on your ovulation test for many 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 other reasons like, uh, I just found a box of um, uh, clear blue uh, ovulation test I had forever and it expired at least, I don't know, I don't know, a long, long time ago. I bought it and I left it probably since I started the ov uh, trying to conceive and uh, they were expired those tests you can use them just for the fun of it but do not rely on them if you buy um uh, ovulation tests and if they are uh, expired return them or if you have them at home don't really rely on them because once they expire they can you know uh, give you a, a different a different reading so i um uh, i try to do my ovulation test very early on this month i started testing since cycle day nine and when i test guys i test early in the morning and i test in the afternoon and i test again at night but it's only when i see i'm coming close to a surge i test three times but at the beginning of my cycle i test maybe two times morning and night and um, many places where you read on the internet they say not to uh, test early in the morning with first urine because we do have uh, luteinizing hormone in our system at all time as women so when you wake up in the morning your urine is so concentrated you know, it might give you a false positive or something, which I don't believe because I have never had a false positive until I have a positive. I don't know if I, if you understand what I'm saying. I never had a false positive, you know, on cycle day 
10, 11 because I, uh, I tested with first urine. Pfft, never happened before. You may get one that is coming. You can see a line when it's not supposed to because you have the hormone in your system, but it will not give you a false positive. Not at all. You don't have that much luteinizing hormone in your system until it's time to ovulate. We're not going to go into details with that. If you want to find out how you ovulate, what's going on with your luteinizing hormone, then you go find that out. But I do test early in the morning and at night. And once I start coming closer and closer to my surge, I will start testing morning. I'll test in the afternoon and I'll test at night. Many, many people, they test in the morning and they test at night and uh, they're coming close to ovulation and it, or they just ovulate it and they can completely miss it. For me, I have a surge. If I have a surge, I'll have a positive uh, OPK and it would stay for a whole day. I can test and test and test and test all day. It will be positive. But some women, they can only they can only have a surge for a certain amount of time, maybe just 12 hours. But if you tested the, the morning and you didn't test at night and you had a positive around 9, 10, 11 o'clock that afternoon, if you didn't test that night and you test all the way to the next morning, you can miss it completely. So that's why if you are trying to conceive, I suggest you test as often as possible what i did i cannot do that with uh, clear blue because they are so expensive so i buy the cheapies on the internet i buy about 50 for seven dollars so you have tons of opks you can play around with i don't care i don't mind using them i use three four sometimes because i don't like the stress not knowing and what i started to do i would buy the expensive one the clear blue and uh, I will start testing with them when I get a positive on the cheapies just to make sure that I have the smiley face on my clear blue. But after that, I test with my cheapies and they are really good to tell you when your surge is coming. So what happened to me this month, I almost gave up. I almost said, okay, I missed my ovulation. I started testing since cycle day nine. It is pretty early. I could have waited until cycle day. 11, 12, 13, because usually I ovulate on cycle day 11, 12, 13, 14. But today I am on cycle day 17 and I am ovulating either tonight or tomorrow morning. But I started testing earlier because last month I couldn't find out when I ovulated. I missed it completely. So this month I tried to be smarter to start testing earlier. So I woke up that morning at 8.15, I tested, I saw a line and I thought, oh my goodness, I have a line. I, I hope I didn't ovulate already and it's just the end of the surge I'm finding here. But I knew I wasn't, I didn't ovulate before because my CM was extremely dry. My temperature was still high. I didn't have a dip. I didn't have a rise. So I knew I didn't ovulate. So that same day, at night, the, the next day at 7 a.m., I took it and it was blank. I didn't have any second line at all. So I said, oh my God, what I got yesterday was the end of my search. I probably ovulated two days ago. So I started to give up. I started to think, oh my God, did I really, really miss it? Could I ovulate without having any uh, egg white CM? Because this is not me. I always have a lot and lot of egg white CM. But because I've been drinking wine and I thought maybe it's a glass of wine I had. I had more than a glass of wine, let me tell you guys. And uh, Monday... Uh, I test and it was completely negative and I said okay next day I'll test I'll test again mon Monday and I see a second line very 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 thin telling me oh my god there's something coming and the next day it was gone again and I thought oh my god my ovulation is playing game with me and uh, that night at 11 uh, I uh, 11 p.m. I test again and it was getting a little bit darker and the next day, it stayed the same. It's a little bit darker. And at that night, it was gone. Nothing. 
no faint line, nothing. And I thought, oh my God. And I just knew something was going on. I don't know. I still don't know what's going on. But some days you can see a little bit of a uh, line. And the next day, yes. And after that, you don't see anything. So uh, to make a long story short, on the 16th, which is on Friday, I tested at um, seven, uh, 7 in the morning. It was blank, nothing. And I said, okay, let me check again about 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock, you could see another line like, oh my God, it was so bright. And I said, what's going on? So the, that night, I tested again and it was blank. I said, oh my God, this thing is playing peekaboo with me. So uh, to make the story short, this morning I woke up, I had a test and it was a faint, but with color in it and I said okay it's, it's coming I like it I started to be very happy I said okay at least I am probably gonna ovulate and uh, I came home this afternoon that was this morning when I took it and I saw it I was so excited that was only at 7 or 5 this morning let me show you guys and I have to bring the brightness down in this one so you can see so uh, this morning that was the test I took this morning and I got so excited and look at it. It just, it has color, but it's not dark, dark, dark. And I took it at 7.05 and I came home this afternoon and at 3, just a few minutes ago, and look at it. It is almost like a positive. So it is just to tell you guys, when you are trying to conceive, you have to be on both feet. You have to be very active in what you're doing and knowing your body, knowing when you are relating how you feel. If I were you, if it's your first time TTCing, just your second month, trying to write down everything. On Psycho Day 11, this is how you feel. This is what you saw, your CM, how it is. So you will have, you know, some knowledge to go by next month because today on my way back here I felt a little pain in my ovary and I know it must be you know me getting closer and closer to ovulation I know something was going on I used the washroom and I saw my CM was just like when I'm ovulating so I knew something was going on I knew my ovulation test will tell me something different so I am so happy finally ovulating so uh, we have everything in place if you know what I mean so I am just waiting to see so uh, once you see a double line like this you don't have to even wait until it is completely positive both are the same color you start baby dancing and if you can start before that two days before three days before and from now on once you see the double line you can do it every day until you have a rise in your temperature if you take your temperature or until you start seeing your cm starts to change because now it is just like um EWCM, egg white, and once you ovulate because uh, progesterone is starting to take over, it will change your uh, the consistency of your CM. So then you can take a break with your baby dance. So this is it, guys. And uh, hopefully, surely, I will ovulate tonight or tomorrow morning. And who knows? The rest, you can only leave it in the hand of God. That, that, that's all you can do. That's all you can do. Again, guys, thank you for watching. And uh, thank you so much for my new subscribers. Thank you. So I'll see you back again soon. Bye.